You've been around for 12 years, but I was only introduced to you and your music like past, what, two years, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, who is this fresh breath of air? Who's this new person, <laughs> even young Todd? Puma, how come I've been living under this rock? Uh, well, I mean, I am. Um, I mean, I've been hustling for like twelve years. Yeah. Um, I've been in Joburg for se seven years. Sure. Um, matriculated in PE, mm. moved to, J to Durban to study fashion, yes. and then did fashion and the music there. I would never say you study fashion. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> I was like, you study fashion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I did fashion designing um, in between doing the music as well, and then I just needed more because I went from poetry circle to hip hop circle to jazz circle to like I want my own sound because I'm bored with doing what's already been tested yeah. and so in 2007 I came up with my own genre which was future ghetto funk recorded and was fortunate to have a producer who could hear whatever sounds I made yeah. and moved to Joburg with 21 tracks that were already set with the genre yeah. um, eventually signed to a label and released a la an album and got out of the deal one year because I was doing more work for myself than the label and then um, just been doing international shows in Kosa and yeah. finally that the hometown the home ground is now Catching up is making the international shows even more epic because yeah. now there's some support. Thank God we're catching up, actually. You know Thank God. I mean? no Otherwise, we're going to claim me after that. Thank God. I said it out. Pumekas. 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 Yeah, that's right. Mo, what up, brother? What's happening, dog? You good, my buddy? I'm good. One of the most hardworking guys in the industry right here. Uh, Always on to the next. The most hard uh, uh, maybe. Maybe number two. Uh, 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 maybe it's uh, high, Jaya. Who has studied before you that great shop? I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was in Durban last night, came back today, yeah. had to do the show, and then I'm here. So, uh, uh, it's rest for, for people like us. Or, yeah, no, I'll see uh, rest. <laughs> see rest, because you love what we do. Yeah. 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 How did this collaboration come about? So, I met Moonchild through music, um, mm -hmm. and I think, coincidentally, I happened to know somebody that she knows. Yeah. And then we're chatting about possible features for my next coming songs, mm -hmm. and you know, the seed was planted. I'm like, actually, I like, plus I like that girl. I like her vibe. Right. And I think uh, her previous songs uh, with my poetry are kind of contextualized her in the house space. Yeah, yeah. For me to say, yeah, she actually makes sense. Sure. Um, and then, you know, we, we, we hooked up in the studio. Mm. She came through. I mean, she's, she's wicked, man, behind the mic. No doubt. Yeah, figa, and Javela, pa, 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 next. Pa, 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 next. Mm. Oh, is that it? <laughs> so, there's more than one song that you guys have collaborated on? Oh, yeah, there's more than yeah. one song. Um, sure. And look, uh, it was a tough call to decide which one to go with. Okay. Uh, but we, we left it out of it because we, we were like, we, this is the song we're going to go for now. <laughs> sure, sure. And then this other one will come after. You sure. know what I'm saying? But sure. she's amazing behind the mic. Uh, uh. Um, and she, she's a pleasure to work with, you know? No, for yeah. sure. Let's pick up about the track that you guys are going to be performing later on tonight uh, Pretty Lady. Well, I mean, she wrote the song. Um, I, I get the idea. Um, take and us through, take us I, through. I think, Pretty I, lady I, stuff. I, I think yeah. because, she, because yeah. she, she's crazy, man, you know what I mean? <laughs> but she has a way of putting it so eloquently. Yeah. Yeah? So I basically, that song is basically like, um, a friend of mine was at Afropunk yeah. in December, and then basically they had like VIP tickets and stuff because they were actually with Anderson Park, so they had access. But then this Afrikaner security guard was forcing this guy not to go back, but he managed to go back because he had all the papers, the yeah. tags, whatever. But then he took a girl from VIP, carried her over his shoulder and threw her in mud and she literally was crying on the dance floor. Uh, so a pretty girl was crying on the dance floor yeah. because this big bad man was actually just a racist uh, um, guy, security uh, guard at uh, a festival. But uh, then she just cried, she didn't fight, and she continued dancing, and she said, I'm not going to give him my power because uh, I came to dance. Yeah.